Hey guys, and welcome back to Faces by Fortune. Today, I wanna to teach you guys how to go ahead and just throw on one eyeshadow shade, a very colorful, vibrant shade. However, you can do this with something a little bit more muted, but I wanted to teach you guys how to do this because I get a lot of questions on Instagram as well as here on my channel. Just how do we go about putting on one shade. You know, it sounds simple, but it never like translates very well once we go ahead and sit down and try to do it. So I'm literally showing you all of my tips and tricks on how to just create dimension in your eye to just kind of bring the attention to your eyes without it looking too flat, without it looking too chalky, too clownish. I'm pulling out all the stops and we are creating this very beautiful, vibrant look today. Again, you can use this with any eyeshadow shade, any type of eyeshadow. It does not need to be this one, but in today's video, I am kind of putting a spotlight on this really beautiful eyeshadow. This is the Shiseido Pop Powder Gel Eyeshadow in the shade Zawa Zawa Green. I am not a green eyeshadow kind of gal. Although you would think that I would be because I have brown eyes and green and purple. Those two shades especially complement them, but I don't know. I normally, I can't find a really good green. But this one is really, really beautiful. So I thought, why not just play around with it and show you guys how to just take one shade and really blow it out. I think that it's really fun, especially in the summer. You just sit down, throw on one eyeshadow, you're out the door, and it looks like you put effort in, but you really, really did the bare minimum. Make sure that you subscribe and click the bell button next to it. This way you get notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel and let's just go ahead and dive right into it. If you are interested in seeing the base of my face, I did film this. This video I believe is up already. I will go ahead and link it up here, but I showed you guys how I go about contouring, sculpting, bronzing my skin underneath my foundation to give you this like beautiful sun-kissed makeup look that will last you like 14, 16, 18, 20 plus hours. It's gonna look absolutely beautiful in pictures. Just, it looks so like, I just look like I have perfectly beautiful skin, like naturally. Let us get into the eye tutorial. You're gonna need two brushes. I love myself a fluffy blending brush for the crease, always a necessary in my opinion. And sorry, I can't see out of this eye, it's very blurry. I don't know if something was wrong with my contact and I ran out, so if I look a little cross-eyed in this video or something is happening, it's because, yeah, something's happening. And then you're gonna need a flat brush. This one is by e.l.f. This is just the C brush and this fluffy brush is by Glamour Dolls. I will put both of them down below in the description. You're also going to need the eyeshadow shade of your choice. And I always recommend using a metallic one because metallic shadows, typically you can maneuver a little bit better than a matte. You can kind of get different textures out of a shimmery shadow than you, know, you can out of a matte shadow by using a spray, which you also need just any kind of misting setting spray, or you can literally use water in a little spray bottle, just anything that's gonna get your brushes damp. Bronzer, this is the Basic Beauty Bronzing Palette. I'm gonna take this lighter shade right here, this orangey creamsicle looking shade, and I'm just gonna use this to deepen up and warm up the crease. You don't need to do this, but I just find like when you're going in with one shadow on the lid, the more dimension that you have, the better, the more like effortlessly put together and like blown out the finished look is going to look. Let me bring you guys in a little bit closer. So I'm going to pick up that orange shade on that fluffy brush, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to run this through the crease as I typically would, just to add a little bit of warmth and to just start creating a little bit of depth. And I'm going to wing it out a little bit as I always do because that goes ahead and it kind of lifts the eye and elongates it. And I'm also going to take a little bit of that and bring it underneath the eye as well, just again to create a little bit more dimension and this is gonna help to make the eyes pop. I feel like this orange is just gonna look so beautiful with that green as well. I feel like it's just very complimentary colors. Taking that same fluffy brush, I'm now gonna go in with Shiseido. This is their single eyeshadow. I believe they're coming out with an eyeshadow palette that will have this shade in it but Shiseido was kind enough to send this to me. This is the Pop Powder Gel Eyeshadow in the shade Zawa Zawa Green. And I'm going to just add this into the crease just like I did with that creamsicle looking shade. And I'm gonna keep this a little bit lower and I'm kind of like patting it all over the lid. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it into the crease. 
Just like that. Now, I think that this looks beautiful. You can literally just stop here, throw on some mascara, and call it a day. However, I want this to be a little bit more dramatic. I'm going to take what's ever left on that brush and put it underneath the eye as well. I'm going to take that flat brush by e.l.f. and I'm going to go ahead and mist it with my spray. I'm using the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, but again, you can use any misting medium of your choice. Literally water in a spray bottle will be totally and completely fine. I find that with these powder eye gels from Shiseido, they apply super beautifully with a damp brush. And can you see just how much more of a punch that packs? Mm -hmm when applied with a damp brush over just a dry brush. Like it's really, really crazy. This is so freaking beautiful. Now, if you feel like that got a little messy, you can go back in with your blending brush. However, I'm gonna remove that green pigment just on my hand. If you have a shadow switch, I would totally recommend doing that. But I'm gonna go ahead and just pick up a little bit of translucent setting powder. This is the top of the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And I'm just gonna run this here because I feel like I just got a little bit too much green. This is just gonna go ahead and soften up the look. I don't know if you can see on camera what that did, but it kind of just softened up the crease and took a little bit of the dark green in here, which I didn't want because that's gonna make me look tired. Anything dark in this section tends to make us look like we have dark circles. And then I'm gonna take what's ever left over on that flat brush and just stamp it underneath my eye as well just the outer corner to help lift it and just make the eye look a little bit more cohesive. I'll take a swipe here. See how pigmented that is? Holy crap. Stamp it in the center just to draw a little bit more light in the center of your eye. That's going to make your eye look a little bit bigger. And can you see how crazy of a difference the two eyes are. And then I went ahead and I threw on a brown winged liner. I just used the Wet n Wild Mega Liner, which is a liquid eyeliner in the shade Dark Brown. I curled my lashes using my Tweezerman eyelash curler. And then I went in with the Honest Beauty. One side has a lash primer, so I went ahead and applied the lash primer followed by the actual mascara. And I applied that to my upper lashes as well as my lower lashes. This is the finished eye makeup look. If you have any questions about the techniques that I used today or any of the products that I did mention, do be sure to look down below in the description. If that does not answer your question, then do be sure to leave it in the comment section. I would love to help you guys out. If there is a specific video that you would like to see from me, do be sure to leave it down below in the comments as well. I would love to record it and upload it for you. I had a wonderful time as always. Make sure that you subscribe and click that bell button next to it if you have not done so yet, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.